This dinosaur was only 30 centimeters tall and weighed less than a kilogram. If all humans shrunk to the same height as this cute little beast, we'd be 18% of our current size. Too small to reach a door handle and too big to crawl through a crack. You'd basically be trapped in your house until someone came to rescue you. And seeing as no emergency service workers would be able to drive their cars or operate any machinery at this size, your best chance of rescue would probably be by three people stacked in a trench coat. Let's say you left your house and went for a casual stroll down the sidewalk. Well, look out. At this size, you're at the bottom of the food chain, pal. Those city pigeons? Dangerous. And the rats and cockroaches you were already afraid of when you were normal-sized? Uh, now they're your number one predators. <laughs> Battling a rat now would be the equivalent of battling a tiger. Your odds would not be good. But if humans had wings like the Microraptor, we'd be able to soar through the air and evade our new predators. However, with our body composition and our bone density, we'd likely shatter an ankle or two every time we landed. So that wouldn't be much fun. On the plus side, we'd eat way less, although not as little as you might think. Even though your body would be around 80% smaller, you'd still have to eat 35% of the calories you need today. That's because, according to Kleiber's law, your metabolic rate slows down as your body becomes smaller. That means your small body would need proportionally more energy per kilogram to maintain your basic physiological processes. 